Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks very much for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi, Tesco and Asda. Come and have a look what I got. We are going to do a cottage pie revisited um, with a few extras thrown in. I did this last year and I made a right hash of it because I did a frozen cottage pie last year and one of them, i.e. the as the smart price, was fresh and I froze it and it wasn't suitable for freezing and I wondered why it was more expensive than the others. So I'm going to do it right this time and we're going to see what it's like nine months on with the ingredients and the prices. So I went to Tesco and I bought a cottage pie. It was a fresh one and it was three pounds. I went to Aldi and I bought a cottage pie. It was two pounds and 49 pence. So 51 pence cheaper than the Tesco. I went to Asda and I bought the Just Essentials cottage pie and that was one pounds 45. So that was the cheapest by a pound and four pence, I think. <laughs> so let's have a look at the packages. So just looking at the packages, one thing I have noticed straight away with the Aldi, it's 450 grams. All the others are 400 grams, look. So that's, that's pretty good. For a start off, being the mid-range price, there's a little traffic light system there, look, if you want to have a look at that and pause it. You can sort of compare the, you know, the nutritional information. There, there, and there's the Aldi one. So, when I look back on my other video, and I did look back, the smart price was white then. Um, and I did notice the beef content. I will check it with the beef content on here, but we will have a look at the ingredients now because it's important. So this is fresh and it's got water, beef, 14% there they are. The allergen is milk. And I look back at the smart price and I've written it down and it's 14% the Asda one was. Um, and it was £1.20. So these have gone up in nine months. 25 pence and they're all yellow now Tesco cottage pie now the frozen one was one pound 20 last year and the frozen one had 11 percent beef however this is a fresh one they are the ingredients there look allergens milk and wheat and the beef content is 22 percent so you're getting considerably more with a fresh one However, you are paying considerably more at £3. It's the most expensive. Let's have a look at the Aldi. Now, I didn't do the Aldi last year. I never did it. I missed it out for some reason. Let's have a look at the new, new ingredients and the allergen are milk, celery and barley. Let's have a look at the beef, British beef. 28%. So that is the most. And you're getting 450 grams and it's mid-priced at £2.49. pence. If you want to go back and have a look at that comparison, I will put a link in the description on this video. Just click on that link and it'll take you to comparisons and you can look through as many. I've done lots and lots of videos on different foods. Um, so if you like the video, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing and let me know your favourite I'm going to do, I will get round to doing many more comparisons and I know you lovely people that in the comments that is what you want so that is what I will give you and also I get to eat a lot of food. <laughs> so let's do the seal peel test. And have a nice cup, nice cup of tea as well. I'm parched. I've just been out shopping for a surprise and the heavens have opened. So let's have a look in there. That looks lovely, doesn't it? That looks all put in nice. Buttered mac as well. It looks smooth and buttery, doesn't it? Um, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the ways to cook first for a start. I'm going to do them all in the oven from chilled half an hour. Look. Um, so what does it say there? Look, it says best results. Do them in the oven. Remove out the sleeve and film lid. I would imagine you do that with them all. I'll just check though before I make a right boo boo. 
Um, yeah, oh, it says, um, if cooking from frozen, oh, you've got a pierce the film lid, if cooking from frozen, so there's points to note there, look. Right, so we'll, we'll do the seal peel test on here, see if it comes off, because it's got to come off, hasn't it, it's important. It really is, oh, look at that. Now, because these are fresh, they're packed with two, two lots of, of film, however, that's very thin, that one, I think they've missed it, I think they've missed one out on there and it's failed. It's not come off properly, look. You've got to, I don't like all this on here, yeah, I have to pull it all off. So yeah, so I probably won't buy it in principle because it's failed its peel seal test. Let's try the Aldi. I think I'm getting a bit of a cold here. All the gassing I'm doing. <laughs> but we gotta do it, haven't we? We've gotta do it. Let's have a look at this one. Peel saw it's failed. The peel seal test has failed. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no, I'm not going to sleep tonight now. I'm going to be up all night. That's failed as well. Let's have a look at the Asda. There's the Asda look. A bit different from the others. Let's have a look at the seal peel test. This has failed as well. Oh, this is monumentally failed. Oh no. Oh no, I'm, I'm up all night tonight. I'm up all night. I'm going to eat all that cheese I've, I've done and I'm going to have loads of nightmares about not being able to get out of my bed. I.e. not being able to get out of me duvet wrapped around me all covered seal peel test to blame just been taking the the cellophane off uh, I, I can't get it all off but i've got most of it off i'm not going to be i'll give you a week trying to pull this off there they are look there's the tesco's and um, that is the aldi and there is the asda oh it's oh, i'm not going to be asleep now at night i'm going to be worrying about that all night now I really am we're all going in the oven for the set time and I'll rotate them as well, give them all a, a chance to get to the back. I'm going to do some peas as well. I'm going to do some gravy. So what I'm going to do is when you've done your peas, the water, and I don't throw it away, sometimes or more than often, what I do with it is... I use the pea water for my gravy. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'll, what I'll do, put that on there like that. And I'll just pour that in there. So I'll get rid of my peas. And then and then use that water down there. I'll switch that on. And that, I've turned the wrong one on. I'll, I'll turn the right one on. <laughs> I'll just let them drain a bit. And then I've got my water then. That I've had my peas in. Um, for my gravy and I normally do with carrots as well if I'm doing carrots boiling carrots so I normally use that water as well because I find it quite sweet all of the sort of the sweetness has come out of the carrots and gone into the water and then you use that for your gravy just a, just a top tip and, and I've got some of this gravy as well I've done actually done a comparison using this and that'll be in my playlist if you want to watch that one I think I did it with OXO was it Oxo? Bisto. <laughs> ah, Bisto. So I'm just going to put some in there, like that, and then I'm going to give it a stir, let it boil, and there's your gravy. They're done. So this one is the Tesco's, if if I can remember rightly, and this one is the Aldi, and this one is the Asda Just Essentials. I'm going to get them out now because they're red hot. I always like to pimp it up as well. Put my peas back in there. Some salt and pepper. Yeah, lovely. Now I'm going to get them out. Um, right, what, what was the easiest way to get all this out of here? I could do with spatulas, couldn't I? I've got any. Or, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I've got one here. So let's let's get the um, Tesco's out first. It's. Um, I mean, you can leave them in a bit longer, can't you, if you want? You know, so that goes all nice and crispy. It's a little bit crispy, a little bit crispy, but you can leave it in for longer. Well, let's let's get that out and see what we've got because we need to know what we've got, don't we? Mm, oh, it's smelling good. It really is smelling good. We will get the Aldi one out. Have a look at that. There's the Aldi one. Oh, it's red. Oh, oh nearly had it. Nearly went then. Yeah, that's crisped up nicely on the top. The Aldi one really has, and you're getting more with your Aldi. Oh no, the plastic. Look at that. I'm gonna have to have words. 
I'm gonna. Uh, no, it's, 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 this one's a lot, um, a lot lighter as well. I've noticed because it's got vegetables in the Aldi one. I mean, if you don't like, I can, I can smell celery now. If you don't like vegetables, <laughs> it's smelling completely different to the Tesco one. Let's get the as the as the one out. I'll show you as well. Yeah, that's gone nice and crisp and on top as well. The as the one. We like that. You don't get that in the microwave, do you? Unless you've got a real fancy microwave that does all the, that sort of thing. This is a dark one as well. This is more like the, the Tesco one, really. It's Friday today. I'm doing this video. I will be putting it out today. Um, probably, probably gone up tomorrow, that. <laughs> the prices are going up all the time, it seems. Every, every day with these ones. Um, the Asda the Just Essentials, they, they, they think they're cottoning on. And they're just putting the prices up. So yeah, you get carrots. Look with the Tesco's cottage pie. The minced beef in the in the Aldi, you can see it's all sort of fallen apart. It's minced beef, isn't it? Um, it's all just fallen apart. Yeah, British beef with onion, carrot, celery, leek, and a rich gravy. So you've got all that in there. And 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 there's the as the just essentials look. It's, it's probably. Probably on par with the Tesco's, but it doesn't have any carrot in there. So we'll get into the Asda. Asda just essentials. There, there's your, your mash. I'm going to do a bit, a bit of mash. A bit of, bit of everything, really. There's your minced beef in there. Look, not too bad. It's looking. It's This is the one with the less minced beef, but it's the cheapest as well. Have a look at that. A long video of this, but never mind. Will, Will wasn't built in a day, was it? <laughs> Please don't drop on me top. Right, hang on. Let's just get you a bit further away. You don't want to be... That's a bit better, isn't it? You don't want to be seen too close. And I will try not to lip smack as well. And I must admit, when I watch back, when I edit it and I'm going... It annoys me. So I'm very sorry. I'll try and keep my mouth shut. Well, I was expecting it to be a bit more richer in flavour. It's a little bit tame. I'll have another go. Oh no, we've got some cross contamination. That, that definitely needs seasoning, that one. Wow, the, the Asda one. There's, there's no richness at all. I'm going to get into the Aldi one now and show you. We'll, we'll get some of the mash. Um, there's the mince. It's, the mince is just, it's very small, sort of. And there's your carrot look in there. And you, is there an onion in it? There's onion in it as well. It's very finely um, sort of minced up, the old um, Aldi one. And you're getting 250 grams with the Aldi. As opposed to 200, uh, sorry, 450 grams as opposed to 400 with the others. Mm. I'm not going to lie, that's a better taste. It really is than the Azte. There's just more flavour to it, more taste. Well seasoned as well. Mm. I think them carrots will, will give it a bit of sweetness, which is lovely. Yeah, it's fine. The, the, the mince beef's found finely sort of ground up. I would have preferred it to have been a bit bigger, the minced beef, because I like to sort of taste it, you know. But don't want any gristle or... Right, let's try the Tesco's. Tesco, this is the most expensive, at £3. There's your carrot. So this is buttered mash. Let's see if we can get that sort of buttery mash flavour. When we try it, I'm going to get a spoonful. Oh, it's a long video, this. 17 minutes. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Let's try this one. Mm. Yeah, that's rich as well. The mash is very, very smooth. 
and it's tasty. It is tasty. I'll get some. I'll get a little, a little bit more. And I, and, I, and I like the Tesco one because it's big. It's got bigger. It's got bigger um, bits of beef in it, which uh, you can get. You can taste. Hmm. I've made my mind up which I like the best. And the one I like best, the tastiest one, is the Aldi one. The, the, the least favourite is the Asda, unfortunately. It's just lacking in flavour, it really is. I'm going to try a bit more. So, I've ordered two of the others. Mmm. That is definitely a step down. The, the um, Asda one is definitely a step down to these two. These two have got more flavour. Might have something to do with sugar and salt in them. Um, I will just uh, I'll just do a quick look. 2.84 grams of salt in that one. Um, and that is amounts per pack. Um, each oven bag per pack is 1.1. So that is considerably less. Yeah. Yeah, you've got considerably less. That's it, 1.33 grams of salt, but that doesn't reflect in the Tesco one. Tesco one's tasty. So, yeah, so it, it just shows, doesn't it, really? But my, my favourite, and it's just in so, is the Aldi one. Just by a little, just by a smidgen, that's all. There's a the Tesco. Mm. Tesco's lovely as well. Yeah, it... It's, it's the uh, Aldi one for me. It's £2.49. Tesco's is £3. And the Asda Just Essentials is £1.45. So it's sort of middle of the pack, but it's the tastiest one for me. I'm going to get this gravy and peas slap, slathered all over. Oh, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to have the Tesco one, actually. I'm going to slather the gravy and peas over the Tesco one. I'm going to eat that one. I'm going to leave the other two. My children and my wife will warm them up with them for the tea. So thanks for watching, do appreciate it, it's been a long one, wake up please. <laughs> thanks for joining, thanks for um, joining the membership as well, really do appreciate it. Please, have a good weekend, whatever you're doing, take care. All the best and I will catch you on the next one.